outside here in Colorado on Thursday, not looking too good. It's going to be a lot colder than what we've seen over the past few days to round out 2020 and start 2021. But outside this morning, we're waking up to mostly clear skies from Civic Center Park all across the metro area. Up into the mountains, we picked up a little bit of fresh snow in spots this morning, though Vail just under a mostly cloudy sky. A lot of skiers and snowboarders hitting the slopes to round out this year as well. And we actually have a lot of fresh snow coming to a big portion of our northern and central mountains with this next system for the start of this upcoming week. But currently, right now, downtown and at the airport were in the upper 30s to low 40s. Winds are nice and calm after some really blustery conditions overnight. We are still seeing some snowfall in portions of our northern Front Range Mountains into the foothills just west of Boulder up near Nederland. Some snow showers still impacting the I-70 corridor near Golden. We're dry in Denver under a mostly clear sky and the winds will gradually calm through the afternoon, but it was very breezy this morning. Our next snowfall expected for the metro area to arrive tomorrow through early Tuesday and some chillier conditions conditions for the start of the new year. I'll show you that coming up, but outside right now it's already 40 degrees in Colorado Springs, low 40s in through Greeley as well. Not as cold into the mountains with 20s currently from Steamboat in through Eagle Vale and Aspen, but the winds have been strong, especially over our higher mountain passes, still quite breezy over the northeastern plains near Burlington from the west northwest. Forecasted highs today will top out in the high 40s, so not nearly as warm as yesterday where we experienced 60s, but it's still a few degrees above our typical seasonal normals, 20s and 30s out to our west and you can see from our front range future cast will stay nice and dry in Denver. Winds will be gusty at times, especially over the far northeastern plains, and we could even see a couple of flurries filter in. Oh, the snow will taper off into the mountains. We'll stand under a partly cloudy sky tonight, not looking at much more in the way of any accumulating snow up near Estes Park and Allen's Park, less than an inch to a half of an inch expected with this system. But another one is on the way for tomorrow. Tonight, a low of 22 degrees under a partly cloudy sky expected. And here's our future cast as we start the week. Some more widespread snowfall for our central mountains. Portions of our San Juans could see up to a foot of snow when all is said and done with this system on Monday afternoon. You can see from Greeley moving into the I-25 corridor, the metro area. We're expecting light snow here, heavier snow into the mountains. Please be extra careful if you do need to travel to and from the high country to start this week. On average, three to six inches of accumulating snow possible from Steamboat Springs in through Aspen, more down through Crested Butte in Denver and over the northeastern plains. One to three inches, it looks like a little more over the Palmer Divide. Monday, Tuesday, temperatures will be a lot colder as well, mid to upper 30s. We'll round out this year on Thursday with a high of 42. Lows will drop down to the low 20s on New Year's Eve. Then Friday, Happy New Year, 38 degrees under a mostly sunny sky.